welcome back to today's project. The temperatures are cooling off here in the south, which means it's time to start lighting the wood stove. Let's unload the mini truck and fill it with some wood to take up to the shop. This is the pile of camp wood we made with the Timberwolf Pro HD processor. It's been baking in the sun all summer. Let's check it with the moisture meter. Ten to fifteen percent. Ready to burn. This is mixed hardwoods, mostly poplar, gum, and maple. Everything that isn't oak or a cooking wood that comes through the wood yard. We use it for bundles, camp firewood, and the community pile. If friends or employees need some wood for a campfire, they know right where to get it. It's also what we use to heat our shop. Now that we've got the wheelbarrow full, let's get it moved. The mini truck is super handy around the farm and wood yard. Since it's tagged and insured, it's also nice for trips to town or to the gas station for fuel. Always a conversation starter at the fuel pump. Bed and payload capacity is actually big enough to get real work done, but it's still small and has a really tight turning radius for chores like we're working on today. I could never get a bigger truck around the lift and back to the wood rack here in the shop. Excuse the organized chaos going on here. This is a real multi-purpose room.
This old Frankenstein wood stove came with the barn. It appears to be an old boiler that was converted to burn wood many years ago. Has plenty of character and works great for us. We're only around the shop for portions of the day, so being able to load this monster up and have a quick hot fire is really nice. That's why we don't use the nicer wood that we sell like oak or hickory. Let the power scare you. Now, ah, one more load for my most important customer. My wife. We're planning to grill out and enjoy a campfire this evening, so I've got to get some wood in the rack down by the pond. Again, the mini truck makes this so easy. Now to enjoy the crisp autumn evening. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next project.